So everything I've showed you so far is in a situation when you're creating a new SEO asset or upgrading an existing one. However, there are times when an asset just needs some optimization to get it to the next level. So here's how to do that. Okay, so the keyword I'm gonna be focusing on here is SEO training in Denver. So I already had a page that was targeting this keyword and it really started to underperform. So it did well initially and then fell down and it was sitting around number nine or number 10 uh, for a while. So what I did is I put it through rankability and I wanted to see if there's a, an opportunity to optimize it more. Now, when we're thinking about improving an existing page, okay, this is the original page. You can see in archive.org, this is the original one. When we're thinking about improving existing page, we don't wanna just think about just coming in here and injecting keywords, okay? that That's not that's not the first place that I, I like to start. The first place I like to start is, I like to actually objectively look at this content and say, does this content deserve to be number one for this specific keyword? This this content here that I originally published is fine. It's not horrible, but the problem is that the issue isn't a matter of quality necessarily. This is a matter of relevance. And this page here is not as relevant as it needs to be. Okay, because the problem is when we look, when someone is searching for SEO training in Denver, SEO courses in Denver, they're specifically looking for opportunities in Denver. So what I did here is I didn't even give up any, really any opportunities that even exist there. Obviously I did Gotcha SEO Academy, and then I did a bunch of other national brands for this. So this did not fulfill the intent properly. So what I did is instead of doing this, I went and I rebuilt this page, okay? And I rebuilt it with, in mind that I needed to make sure that I was talking about Denver specific opportunities. Okay, so you can see the difference here. I'll show you. Go down here and you'll see that now this properly fulfills the intent. So I still have Gotcha SEO Academy, of course, but as I go down here, you'll see that I have, now I have specific results uh, that are that are relevant to Denver, okay? So all of these companies actually serve Denver, all right? And I didn't actually, I didn't write this myself. What I did is I came up with the angle, then I sent over the rankability, uh, I sent over the rankability brief, and I gave it to a writer and they wrote it, okay? So you'll see though that this is much different. Like we have Colorado Free University, like we've got a lot more specific relevant examples. And this makes a huge difference, okay? So that's what I did, I rebuilt the, rebuilt the content to properly fulfill the intent. That's the key. I didn't I didn't go into rankability and just try to optimize. I I really thought about like does this page properly serve serve the intent that we're going for, okay? So, what you can see here is even when we look at the old the old content, this is the old content I put in here. You can see it's a 40, okay? So, it it wasn't horrible. Like it you know, it's not great, but it also wasn't horrible. So that necess that wasn't necessarily the big issue. Um, it, it certainly could be optimized more, but that wasn't the big issue. The big issue was the was the fulfillment of the intent. So once I fixed that, then I put the content. I then I used uh, I used rankability to identify these opportunities. Okay, so we can go back into the competitor section. You'll see that this is now a sixty. Okay, so you can see the difference here. Uh, I have the the benchmark here, which is in this was April twelfth. April 12th, this was sitting at number 10, okay? Number 10, uh, the original rankability score I had as a 47 and then I moved it up to a 63, okay? You could argue that I could push this up even more. Like maybe I should push this up, let's say another five, maybe another 10. I could get this up to maybe a 70, okay? But right now I'm I'm just waiting. And sometimes when you do an optimization or you do, you do a re-optimization or an upgrade, you just need to give it a little bit of time because maybe I don't need to do anything more and I just need to wait, okay? So Sometimes it's a matter. It's a matter of literally just waiting. So right now, when we look at you know who we're up against, right now I have the most optimized page, and I'm probably the strongest domain in this situation. So you know, there's really I've really done what I needed to do as far as those two elements. So the only other elements that I can start to leverage is, and I'll be showing you how to do this obviously in the next in the next video. But I could go into Gotcha SEO and start looking for Denver specific pages. So I'll look, you know, look in Denver and I'll look for internal linking opportunities. Okay, so I'll start to dig in here and see, are there any internal linking opportunities that I can I can dig into? And that's the next kind of phase of this is like to make sure, do I do I actually have the location authority and topic authority to rank in Denver? Now, these guys here, they're gonna be hard to beat. 
because they're actually in Denver. This will be very hard to beat them because they have a lot of relevance. So for me to be able to, to pass them up, considering they actually have a Denver address, I would need to create a lot of content specific to Denver and SEO, okay? Not saying it's impossible, but that's that's kind of, that's the deficit that I would have to narrow, okay? And the other part of this could just be links as well. I could drive links specifically to this page and then just overpower the number one result. Um, but you know, this is kind of where it's at. And like I said, there is that law of diminishing return I don't know if going from a 60 to a 70 would be the difference maker. Okay. So that's why sometimes I just wait. And so when you look at how the results have gone, you know, I was at number nine and then it hit number two. So now I'm stuck at, you know, number two here, which means in month three, if I'm not number one, then I'm probably going to, I'm going to make some moves. Okay. So that's the way that I do it. Give it some time, uh, you know, let Google re-index and re-understand this page and obviously re-rank it, but this works. Okay. The, my, my go-to strategy, very rarely do I go into a, a piece of content, an existing asset and just try to like inject a bunch of stuff that doesn't typically work super well. Now it, it has worked in some scenarios. Like I'll show you an example, uh, with this one here, psycho cybernetic summary. Okay. This is one that's been, I've, this has been on God SEO for a long time and it's ranked in the top, let's say the top five for like many, many years. Okay. And this is one where it was just stuck at number four. So what I did is it went in rankability. It was a 27 when I first went in there and now it's very optimized, a 91. So now I believe if we look up psycho cybernetic summary, we'll go ahead and look at this result. I believe it's like number two or something. Uh, and of course that could change by the time we, you know, you see this video, but as of right now, now it's sitting up here. Okay. Which is, which is huge because I'm beating out some really, really relevant websites. Okay. They're like, honestly, if, if I objectively looking at this, like I probably shouldn't be beating these guys because they have way more topic, topic relevance and authority than I I do on gotcheseo.com. For me to beat Blinkist is gonna be basically impossible. So I'd be shocked if I could beat them. But the point is you can go through and you can you can re-optimize existing assets. I didn't change this, this content very much. If we look in archive.org, you'll see it's not that much different. I just made some modifications, um, cleaned it up a little bit, and then <clears throat> just republished it. It's very, very important that you focus on hitting, like don't just go in and just think about, I just need to inject keywords. First, begin with the content itself and say, is this content actually sufficient to rank? Is it high quality? Is it a good angle? Does it fulfill the intent? Uh, and is it the most relevant option for this keyword? Okay. And like I said, for this one, this was not the most relevant option. So what I did is I made it more relevant, as simple as that. And then use the NLP to make sure that I'm hitting on all those kind of core topics that the competitors are talking about as well. Okay. So it's as simple as that. You go through, you either need to add more words occasionally. When you look at that word count, it means you need to add more meat to the page, or you need to you need to uh, you know, make sure that you're narrowing all these topic gaps using rankability.